Okay, here we go. My name is Marion Ward. I'm reporting from the uh, for Art You Can See in a Day, our project for class here at the Smithsonian Institution's American Art Museum in Washington, D.C. Uh, the piece I picked is called Preamble, and it's by an American artist named Mike Wilkins. Mr. Wilkins created Preamble to celebrate the bicentennial of the U.S. Constitution. Um, as most uh, students who go through high school or those that may be Schoolhouse Rock fans will be pretty familiar with the language here and the subject of this piece of art. Um, preamble, of course, being the preamble of the Constitution. So, uh, and especially those people, you can go ahead. Those people who might be uh, pretty more tech savvy than I am and into tech speak will actually probably understand this better than um, some of the older folks, but. Um, so this is about three decades before texting. He's using phonetic representation for this display. Um, to create this piece, Mr. Wilkins requested actual um, and official license plates from all 50 states in the District of Columbia. And uh, according to a write-up in the Northwestern University paper, Mr. Wilkins felt like it was the best way to uh, make it all inclusive but also show the separate um, nature of the states though they are all knitted together. Um, this piece is made of painted metal just like a license plate you're probably familiar with um, and they're laid on a, what I think is appropriate a vinyl and a wood background. Uh, vinyl being a pretty good um, material for car seats and uh, Anyway, just appropriate for the particular piece. Um, to me, it, it, it really seems to represent um, good old rugged um, t American 20th century realism. Um, I mean, these are really license plates, uh, and they don't really represent something else. And uh, as you can see, and uh, what I think, pretty well influenced by um, collages or assemblages by folks like Picasso. Um, and also, uh, I feel like Duchamp a little bit, despite the lack of ironic humor. And uh, I picked this piece because uh, it really captures in a lot of ways what we might call the spirit of America. And uh, frankly, I just really like it. It's a fun and whimsical piece. Um, it's it's kind of like a physical representation of uh, E Pluribus Unum. From many one, which is our printed on our money, and again, very American concept. And uh, of course, the subject of the Constitution is something that uh, draws me personally, because um, most of my work life up to this point has been dealing uh, with the application of it in one way or another. And uh, another thing is just sort of the fun, um, nostalgic aspect of it. Um, hearkening back to the golden age of the American automobile as well as uh, historic Route 66.